In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, who called St. Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America, by her example, teach us to have concern for the stranger, the sick, and those that are in need, and by her prayers, help us to see Christ in all men and women that we meet. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. John. Chosen lady, I rejoice greatly to find some of your children walking in the truth, just as we were commanded by the Father. But now, lady, I ask you, not as though I were writing a new commandment, but the one we have had from the beginning. Let us love one another. For this is love, that we walk according to his commandments, this is the commandment, as you have heard from the beginning, in which you should walk. Many deceivers have gone out into the world, those who do not acknowledge Jesus Christ as coming in the flesh. Such is the deceitful one in the Antichrist. Look to yourselves that you do not lose what we worked for, but may receive a full recompense. Anyone who is so progressive as not to remain in the teaching of the Christ, does not have God. Whoever remains in the teaching has the Father and the Son. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Blessed are they who follow the Within my heart I treasure your promise, that I may not sin against you. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the law. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking, 
marrying and giving in marriage up until the day that Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Similarly, it, as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating, drinking, buying, selling, planting, building, on the day when Lot left Sodom, fire and brimstone rained down from the sky to destroy them all. So it will be on the day the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, someone who is on the housetop and whose belongings are in the house must not go down to get them. And likewise, one in the field must not return to what was left behind. Remember the wife of Lot. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses it will save it. I tell you, on that night there will be two people in one bed. One will be taken, the other will be left. And there will be two women grinding meal together. One will be taken, and the other left. They said to him in reply, Where, Lord? He said to them, Where the body is, there also the vultures will gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning, everyone. Today, the church celebrates the feast of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. She is the patron saint of immigrants and has a special place in the heart, certainly of this parish, due to her incredible work with Italian immigrants. She was born in Italy, and after she became a religious sister, was tasked by the Pope to go to America and to work with the many Italian immigrants that had traveled to the United States. She originally had other plans, but, you know, being incredibly humble to the will of God, she followed the Pope's commandment and, or invitation for her and traveled to the United States, went to New York City, and began establishing as many as 67 different institutions, be they orphanages, schools, and, and the like, to work with some of the poorest and those that really had no one to care for them at the time. She brought six other sisters with her and began an incredible movement to care for all of those immigrants. But her journey to sainthood, being the very first naturalized United States citizen to become a saint, was not an easy one for St. Francis Cabrini. She, along that entire journey of her life, was met with challenge after challenge after challenge. When she first had desired to become a religious sister, her first request was denied. She had to teach for several years before she was finally able to become a religious sister. When she first came to the United States, the house or the convent that was established for her and her sisters at first was not available. So there was the sense that she would have to go back to Italy for a time and then perhaps try again. And she had an interesting fear, a very interesting fear. She was terrified at the thought of drowning. She hated water with a passion. She hated water, and the thought of traveling over the Atlantic to get to the United States was you know, an, a terrible fear for her that she had to conquer. Time and time again, she had to overcome all of these obstacles in order to do the great work that she did. And so too, I believe for this parish, having our roots in Italian immigrants, we can call upon St. Francis Xavier Cabrini that she may you know, be the very best intercessor for us, to inspire us to overcome all the challenges of our modern world, whether they be practical things or whether they be personal fears of our own, to overcome all of them, that we may continue to do the Lord's work that God is calling us to. God bless all of you.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. And pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the oblation made by your consecrated people in commemoration of Blessed Francis Cabrini be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, and grant that by participation in this mystery, we may reflect the pattern of your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with spirit. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the marvelous confession of your saints, you make your church fruitful with strength ever new and offer us sure signs of your love. And that your saving mysteries may be fulfilled, their great example lends us courage, their fervent prayers sustain us in all that we do. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, Robert, his assistant bishop, and all the clergy. Remember, Lord, your servants, Vincent and Jeannie Cavallaro, and Caroline and Louise Maturi, for whom this Mass is being offered, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. And remember also, <clears throat> remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Francis Xavier Cabrini, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And at this time, we'll offer a prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The body of Christ. body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Mm -hmm. Body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. 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 Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. Amen. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The blood of Christ.
Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we who are renewed by these sacred mysteries may follow the example of blessed Francis Xavier Cabrini, who honored you with tired devotion, tireless devotion, and surpassing charity, was of service to your people through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace.